Be careful if you come here in winter. This trail is a sheet of ice. On December 27th, we decided to check out the Mechanicville bike path on our way back north. The bike path parallels the Mechanicville Intermodal Terminal, starting at CPF 470. CPF 470 is where NS Intermodal trains enter and exit the Mechanicville Intermodal Terminal. Through trains such as 16R continue on the CP Main Line to CPF 469 or 468. Shortly after we arrived, CP-934, better known as NS-22K, arrived in Mechanicville. Pan Am Southern trains such as 22K use the CP freight line between Schenectady and Mechanicville, a distance of about 17 miles. The 22K is a daily NS intermodal train originating on the NS in Chicago and terminating in Mechanicville or Ayer Mass depending on the day of the week. Previously, this train ran to Ayer all seven days of the week, but the schedule now calls for Ayer and Mechanicville service to be separated. I'm sure you can imagine how well that's going as this airbound train is making Mechanicville set-offs. This is the life right here. Rail fanning, big intermodal trains on the Pan Am Southern Railroad and CP. This close track here is CP. Well walking on a bike path. That's that's what I call a success. XO1, Pan Am's Mechanicville based local, waits on the auto lead. After 22K stops, X01 will help the intermodal train out by making a cut for them, saving the conductor a long walk back. After clearing CPF 470, 22K pulls ahead to allow X01 to make the cut. This 22K was entirely single stacks, as the clearances in the Hoosick Tunnel don't allow for double stacks. Previously, 22K would carry a block of double stacks for Mechanicville, but these days the trains are usually entirely one way or the other. Is it just me, or does this not sound like PSR? 
I guess we'll have to see how this new schedule is going in a few months. Further up the trail, we get a better look at the yard. The auto yard is located behind the intermodal yard. In front of both are the main yard tracks, currently holding some covered hoppers and trash containers. Look at this place. It's a regular little yard here. You have the two main tracks and the close. You have a couple more blocks of cars. I see some Omia cars back there, it looks like. Uh, 22K rolling forward, auto yard. Look at all of these truck skeletons crazy and what is it with rail yards and golf courses in northern new york like look it's legit a golf course and there's a golf cart crossing and this is ridiculous as you can tell i was quite surprised to find a golf course in the midst of the bike path and yard this is quite similar to bluff point in plattsburgh minus the bike path well i've walked the entire length of the trail i'm guessing it was about a mile and a half to two miles Before heading home, we stopped at Railroad Street, where the Pan Am District 3 Main Line and the CP Colony Main split. The D&H Depot and XO Tower remained standing, with XO Tower housing a small museum. There's the old searchlight signals right down there. 22K was blocking the crossing and would remain doing so for quite some time. The next move was a shove back into the yard. Unfortunately, the train was just long enough that it didn't clear the crossing. Good thing there's an overpass down the street, folks. Mechanicville was once home to not one, but two major yards, the B&M yard having a hump. In its heyday, the yards could see upwards of 4,000 cars a day, a far cry from today's totals. Most D&H crews had at least a few visits to what they called Mechanicsville, which was one point on the major triangle with Whitehall and Oneonta. Canadian Pacific Colony, Maine is over here. Former Delaware and Hudson Colony, Maine. This is Pan Am District 3 right here. The very, very end of District 3. Which runs from East Deerfield. No. It runs from Ayer to Mechanicville. Historic yards, first link to rail in 1835. Major yards were built by the Hoosick Tunnel, DNH, Fitchburg, and B&M lines. By 1912, it was the third largest in the USA. What they don't mention is by 1980, well, by 1985, this yard was completely non-existent.
Throwing in the slack. I don't want to get into it too much, but I see why Mechanicville does not like the trains. This train's been blocking this crossing for quite some time now. was fading so we left 22k and hit the road. Thanks for following along my visit to Mechanicville and I hope you now see how this upstate New York intermodal terminal is an important piece of the Pan Am Southern and the local economy.